Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop for another action pack episode. How to build a 105 Thunder Jeep. Okay, here's the deal. I'm done with them spots. Now, I start my compounding. You know, I had this thing pretty smooth. I finished it up with 1200 grit, remember? You know, and I thought that was pretty smooth, man. I mean, that that is smooth. Then I hit it with that compound. You see the difference? That still looks flat like primer. That looks like gray paint. Uh, man, is that smooth. So I have no choice but to hit this whole thing with compound. You know, I've got to do it. There's such a drastic difference. You know, if it helps in any little way, we need to do it. You know, just make these molds come out that nicer. I'm still going to be using my final cut cleaner. Wish I had a buffer. Wish I had a buffer. But I don't. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do this hand. <laughs> Got me a little bit on there and you just want to wipe it. Just keep going. Keep going. It's when you think you need to stop. Keep going. Two small areas at a time. That dirty that rag is. Bam, look at that. That's all it takes, man. And that dude is shining. See the difference there and there? I mean, and that's smooth. That's 1200 grit paper, people. And then bam, that's just night and day. You know? The trick is with this stuff, is not to get too much. Just put a little bit on there and rub it. Let the compound do the work. If you're just rubbing around piles of liquid, it ain't working right. You know what I mean? You gotta put some on there and rub it. Well, it's gone. And I, uh, I wore this with 409 people before I started doing this. After I had it all wet sanded, you know, from priming earlier, I uh, washed it all down with 409. And you know, bam, that's what I'm getting out of it. It's just such a big difference. Man, I tell you, that's how I want the inside of my mold coming out, just like that. Just shining. Got to wear your sunglasses almost inside the shop. Ain't glaring so hard. That's how you want that stuff. Now, if we get that too dirty, we're just going to be swirling around dirt. So, you know, you got to keep changing with some fresh paper towel just put a little dot like that on there just a little bit I'm gonna get this area right here <coughs> the thing is this stuff is to work man at the end that's just from that one spot it's when it starts doing the job when it starts doing what it's supposed to do right at the end you created a little heat some friction bam dude it's giant I'm gonna do this with both kinds you know I 
I was tested, I did some tests. <coughs> Excuse me. But I did some testing up here after I got through with that first uh, funnel cut cleaner. I thought, man, can that get that that much better? And I did a little spot, and that's like mirror finish. So I'm gonna do it to both sides. I'm going to be busy today just doing this. It's going to wipe me out, I know it. But then, uh, tomorrow, we'll be ready to start parking planes. Getting the plate up. We're going to get this fuselage molded, people. What's today? Wednesday. End of the weekend. We're going to be pulling out a fuselage. Oh yeah, we're going to make one of them up too, and then we're going to put that campy on it, and we're going to sit back and say, we haul. <laughs> Whenever that we haul came from, let me tell you this story. When my son was little, oh, he was about eight or ten, something like that. We all went to Branson, Missouri, and uh, we was going down to water slides. And they had this one water slide that had some turns in it, you know, and it went underground and it got dark. And uh, then it came out of this tunnel, and Wes and Amy went right behind us. Amy followed us with my daughter, and then Wes was back there. Well, me and Deb got out, Amy, she came out, and, we, and no, Wes, where's Wes? And I guess he, he crashed inside the tunnel. And he came out and told us his story. He was all upset and stuff, but we just couldn't help from laughing. <laughs> I guess he crashed inside that tunnel. And uh, he says, I couldn't get on my raft, Dad. I was trying to find it. I couldn't get on it. And all I heard was these guys behind me going, we all. <laughs> I knew they was going to crash into me. Oh, it was, we couldn't help but laugh. It was so funny. I heard these guys behind me screaming, we all. <laughs> That's where we all came from. Bam! You know what I'm going to be doing all day, don't you? I'm going to be standing here talking to y'all. I'm going to make y'all do this with me. I'm going to step up to the plate. Say, here, Bob, let me take care of that for you. Have a seat. Make a video. <laughs> Hot chick garage group used to be doing this. We can all just sit back and watch. <laughs> oh no, Bob's the one that moves again. Okay, everybody, you know where I'm going to be the rest of the day. I'm going to be right here in the shop, rubbing this thing down, getting personal with it, giving it the massage, get her all slicked up and shiny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, people. I'm going to make a new movie this afternoon. Let you guys watch me rub this baby down, and we will see you back in the shop. Same Bob time, same Bob's 